Hey everyone, welcome back to the sunny side. I'm sunny, I'm drooling. <laughs> At this reading right here, right now. Okay, fuck, I'm. All right, this reading right here is a tarot reading for Gemini for April 2018. All right, as I'm shuffling the cards, for those who don't know, my name is Sunny. Welcome to the sunny side. I'm a professional astrologer and uh, I do write the horoscopes for some of the newspapers in Canada and if you want a reading then simply message me uh, an astrological reading then simply message me at the email above or if you want a tarot reading then uh, simply tune into one of the live streams here that happen almost every night <laughs> and that's the action all right enough blah blah let's get down to work here and see what's going on for Gemini right now first up for Gemini okay it's the tar I also do the obviously for those who don't know I'll do it again so for Gemini just to let you know just let everybody know, all the new guys, that we have tarot readings here on the sunny side almost every night at 9 o'clock Eastern. And Monday, Wednesday, and Friday mornings, I read the horoscopes for you guys that I write for the newspapers before they come out in the newspapers. All right, that's the action. Okay, and in addition to the tarot videos here, we have the, um, hor the horoscope videos. And so just to let Gemini know, right now, you're attracting in your astro sector of friends. So that's where love is coming. If Gemini is looking for love, it's coming through your friends. If you're looking for money, it's going to be coming through your friends. But Mercury is also retrograde in that area right now. So Gemini is friends into lovers. You know, friends are turning into lovers, but you're going to be revisiting a lot of these themes. And you may be falling in love. You may be breaking up. You may be wondering why you're friends with this person anyways. You know, it's that kind of thing. You're going to question your social networks and doesn't mean it's a bad thing, it just means you're going to be questioning it. Alright, that's the deal. There's also some serious stuff that's happening this month, but um, we'll leave that for the horoscopes. Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. Dear Gemini, do 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 Melchizedek, the spiritual law of attraction. Do 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 do, this is a good card. This is a good card. Gemini's had such a shit 2017 and a little bit of effed up beginning of the year. But it should be pretty good for Gemini's. I see things speeding ahead. How can you say that, Sunny? Mercury's retrograde. Sure, of course it is. This is a tarot reading play. <laughs> okay. Gemini. Melchizedek is, was a Canaanite priest, king, and teacher of the patriarch Abraham. He's associated with Archangel Michael and Jesus in many ancient spiritual texts, including some who interchange his name with Michael's and Jesus's. Melchizedek is reputed... Uh, to be Noah's descendant and a great spiritual master of alchemy and sacred geometry. Call upon Melchizedek for help in mastering manifestation and to understand esoteric wisdom. It's spiritual law of attraction. This is an interesting card. It says the situation you're acquiring about Gemini has come to you via the spiritual law of attraction. You've attracted certain people or situations because they mirror your thoughts, emotions, and beliefs. In the same way, People and situations that you once found desirable are now moving out of your life as you've shifted your energy through your spiritual path. Like attract likes means that everything and everyone that you draw into your life is similar to your thought patterns. If you want to change what or who you attract, hold more positive, loving, and joyful thoughts. The ascended masters and angels can help you with this shift. Additionally, you can change or heal the situation by elevating your thoughts to a more positive level. Your prayers and affirmations have attracted a wonderful new person or situation into your life. And this situation is not a reward or a punishment. You've attracted it. Spiritual law of attraction. And this means you can also repel it or magnify it as you choose. Got that, Gemini? Visualize and affirm only what you desire. Spiritual law of attraction. All right. First up, the priestess, high priestess, is the second card in the deck. So... This card generally means that someone or something is standing in your way that you don't know about. It's something hidden. And in the story, you know, Tarot is born, <laughs> or Tarot comes into existence, and he's cruising along, and he meets the magician. And he's so inspired by the magician. He's like, wow, that's so cool. I want to be a, like the magician. I can do this. I can do this. I can do that. That's awesome. It's like a little kid who wants to be a ballerina or a fireman when he grows up. He's like, wow, this is what I'm going to do. And then... After he leaves the magician, Tarot continues on his journey where he meets the priestess. And the priestess, and he's sitting at the priestess' feet, and the priestess starts talking to Tarot, and she explains to him that there's more to life than 
what he thinks he knows. In Gemini, there's more going on than you realize right now. And I know you're one of the smartest signs. You're definitely one of the fastest, the, the fastest thinking sign. But there's more to it than you realize. See, it's the moon. It's all this hidden energy. It's all this reflection behind you. And so the priestess hands two scrolls to Tarot. And this is, uh, you know, esoteric information that he says, she, and she says, Tarot, you know, this is some action that you need to know. So game up on this scene and figure it out, and I'll catch you later on in the story, which is exactly what she does. And, but Tarot looks at the scrolls, and he's suddenly extremely confused. He didn't realize there was more to life than the magician. He thought, wow, this is great. Everything is cool. So Gemini, something is going to come along, and you're going to, some hidden information is going to be revealed to you. For better or worse, something hidden is going to come to light. And also, something is standing in your way. So heads up, Gemini. So heads up, something hidden is going to come to light. Next, this card is Taurus energy. And it's in some decks, it's the Pope or the Hierophant. In this deck, it means faith. And this card is very much like the Priestess card. Except that this card, instead of... Something, this card is more along the lines of explaining what you have to do. The step by step, it means a teacher is on the way. And Gemini, someone is going to come and bring you some information that you, know, that you didn't know. Like this two cards here, there, someone is coming to bring you information. So keep your eyes open for a message, Gemini, because the message is very clearly on the way. You don't know everything that's in front of you right now. Stuff is being purposely hidden from you, so be careful. But you've got to have faith. You've got to believe in yourself step by step by step by step. And hopefully everything is going to be okay. It's Taurus energy. Something you know, stubborn, but stick to the facts. Gemini, stick to the facts and it's going to be okay. And finally, death. Death. Twins. Death. Double Scorpio. You know what it's going to look like. Okay. Scorpio energy. So that's endings, right? And then we have, well... Then we have, well, Scorpio is a rebirth sign. But then we have fish, which means birth. Whenever you dream fish, it means someone's pregnant, right? So it's a birth going on there. So Gemini's, so often when we see this card, people tend to think, oh, tear everything down and then rebuild it. But that's not necessarily the deal with Scorpio. I know some, a lot of people think that, but it's not really the deal. The whole point of the snake is uh, the snake sheds its skin when the snake grows to the point where the skin's too tight. So it is transformation, but it's not really transformation by tearing things apart. It's about growth, you know, and leaving things in the past that need to be left in the past. There's a lot of hidden stuff that's going on, you know, Gemini, that you really need to let go. Right? This card is all about this card is all about putting everything to sleep so that it can be reborn. It doesn't mean tear the shit apart. You know, the phoenix energy doesn't walk into town and then blow everybody up. <laughs> like, why don't anybody think that? It's not like a guy goes and kills everybody and then, you know, like, ascends to the next level. It's not what the card's about. It's about taking a break. The death card means to take a break from all of the stress to let yourself grow. It's a healing time for you right now, Gemini. So it's time to quiet all the voices, take some time for yourself, allow yourself to heal, and just allow yourself to grow. And that's what's going on. So behind the scenes energy is in place. So keep your si your eyes open for psychic signs and use your intuition because your intuition is going to tell you a lot faster when someone's hiding something from you. Keep your eyes open, Gemini. And trust your teachings. Trust your way. You've got to have to believe in yourself. you got to believe in yourself, Gemini, because people are going to try and fuck you up. So definitely believe in that. And finally... It's growth. It's growth. Right? Allow yourself permission to take a break and simply to grow. And that's the action. You know, from the sunny side.net, I'm sunny. <laughs> Reminding all Geminis, tune into the live streams. Uh, you know, one of the live streams every night here at uh, 9 p.m. Eastern or, um, you know, one of the morning shows here. And uh, if you want a reading, just message me above. And that's the action. From the sunny side. I only give tarot readings on the live stream, just to let you know. <laughs> Everything else is an astrology reading. From the sunny side.net, I'm Sunny, wishing everyone, all Geminis, the absolute super best of a beautiful week. And I'll see you guys soon.